Hello class 7 students. How are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. So, I am Priyanka Singh, your science teacher. Today, I am going to start the chapter number 9. That is respiration in organisms. So, let's start. Why do we respire? All machines need energy to run. All automobiles need petrol or diesel to run. Petrol and diesel are burnt in the engine using oxygen present in the air. We need heat energy for heating and cooling. This energy is obtained by burning coal, LPG etc. using oxygen of the air. Our body also needs energy for its various activities. This energy is produced in our body from the food we take. The food we take has stored chemical energy which is released when food is digested and the component of the digested food reacts with oxygen in the cells. This process is called respiration. Therefore, we respire to produce energy needed by the body for its various activities. To get oxygen, we need to breath fresh air rich in oxygen. Transport the inhaled oxygen from respiratory organs to every cell in the body. Respiration. The process of taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide between organism and the environment is termed as breathing. When we breathe in, we suck air into parts of our body called lungs. Lungs are full of tiny tubes of blood. The oxygen in the air goes through the tiny tubes into the blood and the blood carries it to all the other parts of the body. Thus, respiration is characterized by following acts. First one, food is used up. Second, energy is produced. Third, exchange of gases occurs. The entire process of respiration involves two processes. First, breathing or external respiration. Second, oxidation of food in the body, that is internal respiration. What is external respiration? External respiration, this process consists of breathing in and breathing out of air. When air is inhaled, it reaches the respiratory surface where it is absorbed and carbon dioxide is expelled out of the body. Internal respiration. This process involves exchange of gases in the cells where oxygen is used and carbon dioxide is released along with water and energy. This process is shown by the following reaction and the chemical reaction is C6H12O6 plus O2 gives 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. Now we will see the difference between breathing and cellular respiration. So, breathing and cellular respiration. First one, it is a physical process in which exchange of gases O2 and CO2 takes place. It is a chemical process in which food molecules are oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. Second, it occurs outside the cells. It occurs inside the cells. Third one, no energy is released. Energy is released in a gradual and stepwise manner. Aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration. It is the breakdown of glucose into carbon dioxide and water in the presence of oxygen inside the body cells. And the equation is glucose in the presence of oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. Organisms that use oxygen for respiration are called aerobes. Majority of animals and plants have aerobic respiration. An aerobic respiration when glucose is broken down in the absence of oxygen it is called an aerobic respiration. The animals and plants that can survive and obtain energy even in the absence of oxygen are called an aerobes. An extra mile. Parasitic animals that live in the alimentary canal like round worms and flat worms respire anaerobically because they do not get oxygen in the alimentary canal. 
and aerobic respiration occurs in yeast. Some bacteria and parasitic flat worms. In the absence of oxygen, glucose breaks down incompletely into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide. Therefore, very small amount of energy is released. Now, we'll see the equation of anaerobic glucose in the absence of oxygen which gives ethyl alcohol plus carbon dioxide plus energy. The anaerobic breakdown of sugars into alcohol is called fermentation. During various muscular activities like fast running, brisk walking or heavy exercise more energy is needed. Therefore, demand for oxygen also increases but oxygen supply to muscles remain unchanged under short age of oxygen. Skeletal muscles respire aerobically and glucose break down to lactic acid releasing energy. Glucose in the absence of oxygen in muscle cells gives lactic acid plus energy. An extra mile. Yeast is a single celled organism. It respires anaerobically and yields ethyl alcohol. The Yeast cells are therefore used to make wine and beer. Accumulation of lactic acid in muscles causes muscle cramps or fatigue. We get relief from cramps after a hot bath or gentle massage with lukewarm oil because this increases blood circulation and consequently the oxygen supply to the muscles this cause complete oxidation of lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water. So now children will see the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Okay, serial number parameters, aerobic respiration and aerobic respiration. One, presence of oxygen. It takes place in the presence of oxygen. It takes place in the absence of oxygen. Second, breakdown. Complete breakdown of food glucose takes place. Incomplete breakdown of food glucose takes place. Third, end products. The end products are carbon dioxide and water. The end products are carbon dioxide and alcohol. Fourth one, occurs. Occurs in most plants and animals. Occurs in yeast, bacteria and parasitic worms. Fifth, amount of energy released. A large amount of energy is released. A very small amount of energy is released. Breathing. Breathing is a process during which air rich in oxygen is taken in and air rich in carbon dioxide and water vapor is given out. The taking in of the air rich in oxygen is called inhalation. As you seen in the picture. The taking out of the air rich in carbon dioxide is called exhalation. Breathing is a continuous process and occurs throughout the life of all organisms. Children, are you able to see this picture? This is a picture of inhalation and exhalation. Breathing rate. We have just learned that in breathing both inhalation and exhalation takes place. A breathe means one inhalation plus one exhalation. The number of times a person breathes in a minute is termed as a breathing rate. On an average, an adult human being at rest breathes in and out 15 to 18 times in a minute. During heavy exercise, the breathing rate can increase up to 25 times per minute. Do you know why? Whenever we do heavy exercise, we need extra energy. We not only breathe fast, but also take deep breaths. As a result, more oxygen is inhaled and supplied to our cells. It speeds up the breaking down of food and more energy is released. The breathing rate of a person is the slowest when he is sleeping because minimum energy is required by the body during sleep. How do we breathe? The various organs that help a living being to breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide are nostrils, trachea, bronchi and lungs. The role of these organs during breathing is described as when we breathe in, the air enters through our nostrils. Here and the most inner linings of the nose prevent the dust and germs from entering the respiratory system.
So children, this is a diagram of the human respiratory system. And this is the diagram of blood flow and the exchange of gases through alveoli. Now, an extra mile. The inner lining of the nose secretes mucus. This mucus makes the inner lining of the nose moist. Lungs contain 300 million alveoli. An adult inhales about 6 liter of air per minute. Air passing through the nasal passage gets warm and moist and enters the lungs through trachea, windpipe and bronchi. In lungs, each bronchi is plural bronchi divides into smaller tubes called bronchioles. At the other end of these bronchioles, there are very small air sacs called alveoli. These air sacs are surrounded by blood vessels. These blood vessels absorb oxygen present in the air we breathe in. Carbon dioxide present in the blood is released into the air sacs and is expelled out of our body when we breathe out. Thus, during breathing, exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place in the lungs. Mechanism of breathing. Breathing involves taking in of air rich in oxygen into the lungs and giving out of carbon dioxide from the lungs. Taking in of air rich in oxygen into the lungs is called inhalation or inspiration. While giving out air rich in carbon dioxide is known as exhalation or expiration. This is the diagram which depicts the change in chest cavity during inhalation and exhalation. The rib muscles and muscles of diaphragm work together to aid in breathing. During inhalation, the ribs are raised upward and outwards. The volume of thoracic cavity and lung increase. The air pressure inside the lungs decreases. Air from the atmosphere having Higher pressure rushes into lungs through nostrils and air passages and the lung get filled with fresh air. During exhalation, the ribs move downward and inward and the diaphragm moves up. Ribs and diaphragm return to their original position. The volume of thoracic cavity and lungs decreases and the air pressure inside the lungs increased. Air from the lung is pushed out through air passage and nostrils what we inhale and exhale. We inhale and exhale air, but the composition of air inhaled and air exhale is different. The air inhale has more oxygen and less carbon dioxide, while the percentage of oxygen is less and that of carbon dioxide is more in the air we exhale. This difference is given in the table. So, this is the difference between inhaled air and exhaled air. Inhaled air, oxygen 21%. Exhaled air, oxygen 16.4%. Inhaled air, carbon dioxide 0.03%. Exhaled air, carbon dioxide 4.4%. Now, we will see the difference between breathing and cellular respiration. Serial number, parameters, breathing, cellular respiration. First, process. It is a physical process in which exchange of gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. It is a biochemical process in which the breakdown of food takes place. Second, energy. No energy is released. Energy is released. Third, occurrence. It occurs outside the cells. It occurs inside the cells. Fourth, enzymes. No enzymes are involved. Enzymes are involved at certain stages of respiration. Respiration in other animals. Different animals respire through different parts of their body. Respiration in some common animal is described below. Respiration in other animals. Different animals respire through different parts of their body. Respiration in some common animal is described below. Respiration in insects. Insects like grasshopper, cockroach, etc. have a respiratory system consisting of a network of thin air tubes called trachea spread into the whole body of the insect. These air tubes have tiny opening called spiracles. 
on the sides of their body. Oxygen rich air enters the body through spiracles. The air now goes into tracheal, diffuses into the body tissues and reaches every cell of the body. So this is the diagram of the insect. It's showing respiration in insect. Here oxygen is used to break down the food to produce energy and carbon dioxide is also produced. This carbon dioxide from the cell goes into the tracheal tubes tracheal, and moves out of the body through spiracles. Now respiration in earthworm. The earthworm breathes through their skin. The skin of an earthworm is thin and moist. Gases can easily pass into the earthworm body through its skin. This is a diagram of a respiration in earthworm. Now respiration in fishes. In fishes and other animals like prawns, lobsters etc. Respiration takes place under water. They have gills for the respiration. Through gills exchange of gases takes place under water. They have gills for the respiration. And this is the diagram which is showing the respiration in fish. Through gills exchange of gases takes place. They are fed with blood from the heart. In the gills oxygen passes from the water into the blood. Now respiration in frogs. Frogs live both on land and in water. Frogs have a pair of lungs like human beings to breathe on land. In water they breathe through their moist skin. And this is the diagram of respiration in frogs. Do plants also respire? Respiration in plants occurs in mitochondria. During respiration, plants take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Respiration in plants takes place through different parts such as roots, stems and leaves. Now children, this is the diagram of a plant which showing the respiration. The outer surface of the roots has a thin layer of cells called epiblema. The air trapped in the soil diffuses in through these cells. Leaves and young green stems take in the air oxygen and release carbon dioxide through the tiny pores called stoma. Stoma with nearby cell is known as stomatal apparatus. Woody stems take in air through the opening called tentacles. During the day, both respiration and photosynthesis occur in the plants. At night, only respiration takes place. So the plants take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide at night. Stomatal apparatus. A stomatal opening surrounded with two guard cells and several subsidiary cells is called stomatal apparatus. The process of opening and closing of stoma is controlled by the expansion and contraction of the guard cells. The expansion contraction of the guard cell is due to the flow of water from the subsidiary cells. Now, this is the diagram of open and closed stomatal apparatus. Now, children will see the difference between respiration and photosynthesis. The main differences between two processes are given below. Respiration and photosynthesis. First, during respiration, products of digestion such as glucose reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Water and energy is released. During photosynthesis, green plants prepare glucose from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Second, in respiration, chemical energy is converted into heat energy. In photosynthesis, light energy is converted into chemical energy. Third, during respiration, oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released. During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is absorbed and oxygen is given out. Fourth, respiration takes place inside the body of human animal in the presence of enzymes. Photosynthesis takes place in green leaves only in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Fifth, respiration takes place both during the day and the night. Photosynthesis takes place only during the daytime. Now children, it's time for Reader's Digest. Our body needs energy for its various activities. 
द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग इन ऑक्सीजन एंड गिविंग ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बिटवीन ऑर्गेनिजम एंड द इन्वायरमेंट इज टर्म एज ब्रीदिंग द एन एरोबिक ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ शुगर इन टू एल्कोहॉल इज कॉल्ड फर्मेंटेशन द टेकिंग आउट ऑफ द एयर रिच इन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज कॉल्ड एक्सिलेशन रिस्पिरेशन इन प्लांट्स अकर्स इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इन फोटोसिंथेसिस लाइट एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो स्टूडेंट्स इट्स टाइम टू टेक योर लीव विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास बाय